Let me... Oh. Well, I opened that one and I got an achievement progress for Wasteland Historians. So I guess I haven't read these yet. They're short. I'll read them real quick. The history of the servants of Titan. Brothers, sisters, sit and pay heed to the tale of Titan. Long have they worshipped and known of the mushroom cloud. Our fathers and their fathers before them knew the holy ones. They knew of Einstein who gave us the theory, and they knew of Oppenheimer who gave us the bomb. And they knew of Planck, the ever constant. Through their guidance we found the great glow, which illuminates our path and welcomes us in death. Our fathers founded a temple in the west, a safe haven for our true beliefs, and that center of holy knowledge was the beating radiant heart of our enduring faith. From there we spread the word, and the word was pure and glowing. Carmine and Beatus carried the world in that day. She was known far and wide across the waste, both for her restitude wow. in our teachings as well as the outward beauty the great glow had seen fit to bless her with, to aid her in converting more souls. Blessed were those days, we were spreading the word of the mushroom cloud, the holy blood staff was recovered, and all seemed glorious and bright, for a future in which word of the glow would cover all waste all the wasteland. I wonder what ever happened to that blood staff. That was a big part of the first game. Forgive us, O oh Titan, forgive us our presumption, forgive us our arrogance. We thought we knew all when we were like children who knew nothing. It was Brother Ramirez who had been lost in the atom clouds to the east that opened our eyes. He found himself deep into the sacred glow of the mushroom cloud, joyous and blessed, felt he, ready to succumb and to be dispersed into the great glow. Instead, Titan's hand took him and pulled him on and on deeper into the desert, and there he came upon a new temple, one even more sacred than that of the west. He prayed for a day and a night outside the temple's walls before considering himself clean enough to enter. Inside, he expected to find an empty shell of a temple, or perhaps only a few holy relics. Instead, he found a god, the god Titan. Ramirez stayed in the temple for seven days and seven nights, listening to the god's whispers, learning things no one knew before or since. Finally, Titan sent him back to us to bring us the truth we were ignorant of with joy in his heart. So in other words, the fool went and got radiated, lost his mind, sat and listened to the, what, the whirring ticks of a in standby titan missile decided it was holy scripture and came back to get the rest of the flock but when he returned he was met with a lack of faith and understanding from many too many was it false gods that whispered falsehoods in their ears or were they too or were they too ignorant and afraid or were they never truly believers we do not know we shall never know but brother turned on erstwhile brother in this dark hour lives were lost in pointless bloodshed but Titan in his wisdom came to Ramirez and whispered to him to let the infidels be. Their hour would come, but not at our hands. So Ramirez took the true believers with him, and they traveled back to the sacred temple of Titan. Ramirez left us along the way, rewarded by Titan and taken into the great glow. Titan, O oh Titan, blessed are you for guiding us here. Your sheltering hand kept us safe here, as it provides us with the bounty we need to survive. We were lost without you, but now we have found the way. Blessed are you and the people who serve you. And then a bunch of desert rangers came in and wiped us all out by making us lose faith by disarming one of our gods. Amen. I really would like to know what the little mobile TVs are. Corpses. All right, we're supposed to be looking for a plane with a name on the side of it. Assuming we haven't found it yet. Let's... Ooh. Yeah, let's go over here, because it looks like this might be a dead-end corner. The map, and I would love to find the dead-end corner of the map, because it means no more robots. Maybe there's treasure. Oh, everyone reload, by the way. Alright, it's not booby-trapped. Look, a bunch of nothing. Distribute it all. Alright, what's on this corpse? Anything? Distribute it all. 
piles of corpses. This is definitely the edge of the map. That's good, at least. Oh, you know what? I think this is. Are we about... Yeah, the motel. I think we're about back to the beginning of the map. Yep, there's a dead robot. Corpse in a cowboy hat lies in the parking lot surrounded by a bunch of dead robots. The corpse still grips a pistol in each hand. That cowboy did his job. Some bodies that hadn't been burnt yet, it looks like. You recognize the corpse. It's Howdy, the surly cowboy who guarded Jill Yates' cattle. Looks like he died making a last stand. If he's here, then where are Jill and Doc? I think I stayed here once. Whatever you do, don't go in the bridal suite. What I did to that bed will never come out. That's disgusting. So we can't search any of the bodies. Oh, someone's here. It can be a shop, so that's a good sign. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, even though it says 100%, I think I will save just in case. Alright. You got this. Boom! Alright, and then I think this is just a bathroom with nothing exciting in it, it looks like. Alright. Hey look, it's the cowboys again. yippee ki -yay. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Who's there? If it's robots, I still got enough juice to blow your gaskets through your manifolds. Uh, it's the Desert Rangers. Rangers? You bastards. What took you so long? Hang on. I'll unbar the door. Howdy, Rangers. Good to lay eyes on you. Howdy, Jill. Sorry we couldn't get here any sooner. I swear, Rangers. Every time you see us, we're in a peck of trouble. It's plain embarrassing. What's the trouble this time? Should have known something was up as soon as we got in. The place was like a ghost town. And all of a sudden... Robots everywhere. I'm afraid Howdy sacrificed his life, giving us time to hide. And even that wasn't enough. Big T bastard got in before we could close the door and killed two of my boys before we put him down. Got me pretty good, too. Thank God Doc didn't get hurt this time. And top all of that, we lost the cattle, which makes us dead and broke. What happened to your cattle? The herd scattered when them robots attacked. And without him, this trip's a total loss. Say, I don't suppose you folks be willing to help us out again. We need to get them cattle back so we can sell them somewhere else. Doc and me ain't up to the task. If you could bring the herd back, I'd be mighty obliged. I actually think I saw the cows. Hmm. Sure, we'll keep an eye out. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. I'm sorry Howdy's dead. I know he was an ornery cuss, but he was as loyal and stalwart a cowboy who ever... Sorry. I gotta dab my eye a minute. I'm gonna miss that boy. Where'd the robots come from? The airplane graveyard. We used to go out there for a picnic when we come into town and look at all them metal fellas lying around. Now they ain't lying around no more. I don't know what it's all about, but we've been hearing screams and gunfire coming from all over. Seems they're on a rampage. So the lesson here, kids, is... If you ever settle in a town in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, and there's some sort of robot graveyard nearby, do yourselves a favor. Go pull all the robots apart, even if the bits and pieces aren't useful to you at the time, because you don't want them robots getting back up and wiping out your con, your uh, settlement. So I say community. Goodbye. Adios, Rangers. Hey, Doc. Howdy, Rangers. Thanks again for the help in the canyon. Well, yeah, trade. I got a little extra, and we'll need the scrap if you can find our cows. What do you have to trade? Meds, mainly. I'll take meds. All the meds you have. 
You don't have enough scrap. Ah, sale junk. They're expensive. Three. I can afford. Actually, I can afford all of them now. Aha! Mm, let's not blow all our money on uh, this, but I will buy some of them. What's this? Pain relievers. Any venom, I think. Daisy is good on 13 antibiotics, 9 anti venom. We don't use pain relievers because they're basically a low grade healing item. Nothing more. Sold off all the junk. Ooh, let me go through and sell off some of the other stuff. Uh, like this HK33. Uh, did I? I don't think I wanted that, did I? Let's go down here. Stuff I know I don't want. Uh, the trinket you can have. The PDA. I think the trinket that I gave to Hex is better than that, but I'll double check before I sell it off. Keep, 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 keep for sure. Keep, 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 keep. Oh. I don't think I need these anymore. Can't sell them, okay. Um. Long barrel, lightweights. Does anyone use. No, I know no one uses 9 milli ammo, so we can sell all of that. Hang on to all of that. Hang on. No one's using 45. We don't need this Uzi. Do I want to sell the pulse rifle? She is using the big gun on her back. We'll see. Goodbye. Who's this? Someone we can't interact with, someone we can't interact with. Alright. Well. Let's go over here. Let me real quick while I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna swap. So the Mizon Cannon does 30 to 38. The rifle does 18 to 23. Okay. Yeah. And she's already got a PDA as a trinket. So we must have a spare PDA. Is that what I was seeing? Where was that? Who had the PDA? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put... Actually, on Scotchman is a good place to put it. What's this? The Flame Deluge can... Can't take all the heck is this? If she should have yellowing paper lined with musical staffs and handwritten notation of lyrics. We are the centuries. We have your ethos and your mythos and your nethons. Neoliths? Oh. Eoliths. Mesoliths. Neoliths. We have your Babylons and your Pompeys, your Caesars and your Chromium-plated vital ingredient impregnated artifacts we have your bloody hatchets and your hiroshimas we march in spite of hell we do atrophy entropy and proteus vulgaris telling body jokes about a farm girl name of eve and a traveling salesman called lucifer we bury your dead and their reputations we bury you we are the centuries we bore then grass gasp wind, screech at the surgeon, slap, sleep, seek manhood, taste a little godhood, feel pain, give birth, struggle a little while, succumb, dying, leave quietly by the rear exit, please. Generation, regeneration, again and again, as in a ritual with blood-stained vestments and nail-torn hands. Children of Merlin, chasm of... Uh, chasing a gleam. Children, two of Eve, forever building Edens and kicking them apart in berserk fury, because somehow... It isn't the same. Ag, ag, ag. An idiot screams his mindless anguish amid the rubble. But quickly, let it be inundated by the choir, chanting hallelujahs at 90 decibels. Okay. Someone went to writing school. Alright, so I'm going to give... I can't sell these. Ooh, the weights. Can I... 
Is his skill up to... Requires four of something. No. Damn. Alright, the mag. Oh, hey, does someone's gun need a mag? Hmm. Let's see if I can put it on her... 24. Hells, yeah. Then what was on this? Oh, let's take this off. Ah, it was destroyed. Oh, well. Go ahead and strip the gun for parts. What do we have here? Hey, we got the flashlight off. Go ahead and strip it for parts. 25 to 35. Oh, hey, can I put the... Sorry, okay, five, one. Bear did your gun, okay, here. So this does 45 to 59, and this one does 25 to 35, yeah. Go ahead and strip this gun for parts. I think we just picked it up randomly. Go ahead and give this to Bear. The Bear requires four, this requires five. This requires two, so he can do it. This requires four. And let me put the jump there. Underbear a flashlight. Usable on a revolver pistol, SMG, assault rifle, sniper rifles, and energy weapons. 4% chance to hit. Let me put that on. Bears M16. There we go. And then... I think I am going to sell the uh, Pulse Rifle. To me, Zun Cannon does better damage. Not as good of range, but meh. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to Chisel. Because I'm going to have Chisel do the sale. All the stuff I don't want. 762. Is that what Daisy's using? No, Daisy's using 3 out 6. Let me give this to Bear. So go ahead and sell this chisel. Hang on to these. Let's see here. I'll stack oops, stack these underneath. Daisy has a bunch of Chunk and stuff. Kid, go ahead and give this ammo to Bear and give this to Daisy. And I don't know if I'm ever going to get your strength up. I'm almost thinking I should just sell the steel plate to make more room in this inventory. Go ahead and sell this. Oh, I was going to have Scotchman do all the sales. That's right. Silly me. Just because... Gotcha one doesn't have a lot of stuff on him. Kapow playlist for Monday, July 21st. Powered by WW. Fix Mr. Roboto, classic. The Bengals Mechanical Monday. I don't know if I remember that one. I probably heard it. Prince and the Revolution, Raspberry Robot. I don't know that one. Craftwork, the robots. Not familiar with that word. Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Synths. Don't you forget about sins. Robin Gibb, robot. I'm not sure. XTC, manic dancing. Thomas Dolby, she blinded me with science. Tina Turner, we don't need another robot. I don't remember that one. And if you run out of these, just play Lou Reed's metal machine music for a few hours. Well, that's great. I'm going to give that to Daisy. Alright, Scotchmo. Go talk to the doc. Trade. All right, so I want to sell this, this, this. That's all. And then I want to buy. This one has enough squeezes as it is. I, think I already bought most anything worth buying off him. To be really honest, we can get a couple more of these mid packs though. 
Yeah, let's get them all. I'd rather over buy than under buy on the meds. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, take a moment to hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to stay up to date with all the new videos. As always, I enjoy and appreciate your comments, and if you could share my channel and videos on social media and across the internet, it would help as it is your support that keeps this channel going. So, until next time everyone, as always, please, stay safe out there.